I'd say that there were a number of interesting moments, but perhaps none more interesting than when Hunter Biden told us that he uh, joined the Burisma board to counter Russian aggression. I, I hadn't heard that one before, that thank goodness we had Hunter Biden on the Burisma board uh, because that was uh, central to his strategy to stand up to Vladimir Putin. Has he so, taken the fifth at all? No, he's, has, answer, he's, he's, he's been responsive to questions. Has he told you exactly what value he brought to any of these wars, any of these companies yet? Have you guys asked him that? Yeah, we've asked those questions, and there is, there is an illusory value. It is a mirage to believe that Hunter Biden was engaged in international business. This was uh, a bribe masquerading as an international business transaction. Nothing more, nothing less. Can I just quickly ask you, do you feel that Victor McMurray is heading in the election? Are you actually able to vote on Article 17? Well, here we're asking questions about these corrupt business practices. Uh, I'm, not really, I'm not really framing that through the lens of next steps. I'm just trying to get the facts. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know that. I have to say, I thought it was a pretty strange. I thought it was a pretty strange uh, statement. Either perhaps it jumps off the page when he says it in his own words. Do you think that specifically implicate the president? Have you seen evidence that the president was involved in those business games? I believe that you can actually bribe someone by paying their family members. Like I don't get this construct that unless Joe Biden himself received cash, that he somehow wasn't involved in the bribery operation. Joe Biden was doing the bidding of. Burisma. He was doing the bidding of Chinese communists and his family was getting enriched as a consequence. To me, that's a pretty strong case for bribery. Really quickly, Matt Gaetz's comment on Hunter Biden's association with Burisma, criticizing the lack of genuine international business involvement and suggesting that Hunter joined the Burisma board to counter Russia's invasion, are seen as a skeptical take on a potentially dubious explanation. Gaetz characterizes Hunter's role as having illusory value, akin to a mirage, raising questions about the authenticity of Hunter's actions. The Democratic perspective frames Hunter Biden's business dealings as potentially corrupt, contributing to broader narratives on alleged corruption within political families. But Gaetz's response to a reporter's question on the upcoming election and impeachment articles emphasizes addressing perceived corruption rather than engaging in speculative discussions on Hunter Biden's business practices or potential future political scenarios. The overarching theme revolves around the crisis stemming from bribery and corruption allegations, the impact on individual and familial identity, and the assertion that Hunter Biden's intervention was a bribe masquerading as an international business transaction. These issues highlight a deviation from authenticity and ethical participation at the core of the controversy.